Welcome back. I'm Josh Wallet, and we're taking a look at the market machine. So let's go ahead and open up our file. I've navigated on my computer to where I saved the market machine file. Double click on it, and it opens up to the last page we were on. Let's look at the regression tab today. Just click at the bottom, regression. You can see the variables that are from the last time we came into the tool. You can see how many sales are included in the filtered data that I filtered that I pushed out to the regression. You can see how many variables are included. Of course, we can see that over here as well. Here are the coefficients, in other words, the adjustment rates. And here are the p-values, which give us an indication of how reliable each of the variables are. If we run the regression, the R-squared is fairly low. We only are using three variables. We can probably tell the story a little bit better by adding some variables. So let's take a look at how to do that. We click on the green Add Variables button, and it opens up a box for us. And let's add a garage variable. So in my MLS, it's called Garage Capacity. So that's the column header that the imported data has. Choose that. I can call it whatever I want. I'm going to call it Garage Bay. And it's a value. We're looking at a number in that column. So we'll leave the value here. And we add the variable. Let's run the regression. You can see it added it. Click Run Regression. It's a little better. We now have 41% R squared. And that is a reliable variable, statistically speaking. Let's add another variable. Let's add, uh, let's add age to this. Now, these column headers that we can choose from are in the order that you imported them from that export. I should say, it's really in the order that you exported them from your MLS. So if you want them in a different order, go into your MLS settings and export them in a different order. So I chose age, and I'll just name the variable age, which is pretty logical. Let's add the, the value variable, value, add the variable run the regression, it went higher again, and that's a pretty reliable variable. In other words, that statistic, or that uh, characteristic, statistically does affect sales prices. Let's add another variable, because I know in this market that distress type sales affect it. So my MLS calls that field the sale type. So I'm choosing that, and I want to go in and name it REO or HUD because I'm going to actually group those together in this variable. And we're going to do something called use a dummy variable or a text variable. Let's choose the dummy button and I want to say for this variable it's true when it has the word HUD in that field or the word REO in that field in the MLS exported data. So let's add that variable and see how it looks on here. So this is the name I gave it. This is the column it's looking in. And these are the words it's looking for for counting that variable to be true in the study. Let's run the regression again. It went up again. And it's showing us that being a HUD or REO sale in the MLS is statistically important to affecting the sales price. And we can see that here, it affects sales prices in all likelihood for this particular set of data that I've input and filtered by approximately $24,000 or $25,000. I know one other variable that most likely affects this segment of the market. I'm going to use sale type again. We can do it again with these dummy variables. And I'm going to call it short sale. Click on dummy, and there's short sale. Let's add that variable, run the regression. It's very likely that it does affect sales prices. It affects it possibly by about negative $16,000 in all likelihood, statistically speaking, for this particular segment of the market that we're studying. If we want a visual representation, let's click on the regression button or the back test button. You can see there is the visual representation of how well this model predicts the sale prices. And it's worth mentioning that only sales are going into the regression module here. Uh, listings are not. Next, we'll take a look at prediction 
and how we can use that prediction button. But if you have any questions on adding or removing variables in this regression uh, tab, please let me know by dropping me an email. I would be happy to answer your questions. Thanks so much.